Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do a trigger job today on your PT-100 uh, or PT-92 since they're pretty much the same. Um, you're going to need some punches, a little screwdriver, a hammer, and some sandpaper or a Dremel tool with a polishing head. Uh, I'll show you guys how to take it apart, put it back together, and what parts to polish. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is just field strip your gun and uh, take the grips off and then we'll go from there. Okay, after you got it all field stripped and the grips off, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and you're going to want to knock out this pin that holds your uh, ambidextrous safety on. And if you have a pinch small enough to fit in there, then you can use that. I use one of these little uh, glasses screwdrivers. works pretty good because it's a pretty small hole. Uh, 1 16th punch is a pretty tight fit, so I don't know if they have any smaller than that, but I just use one of these little teeny glasses screwdrivers. You just go ahead and drive that out drive that out and then pull your safety lever off and there'll be a little detent on this side so pull it off slowly and then once you got that off go ahead and pull your hammer back pull your trigger all the way back and then you can pull this other side out After you get your safety lever off, what you're going to want to notice and make sure you don't lose is this little safety detent right here. That's what makes it click up and down. And there's a little spring right here. What you can do is take a screwdriver, stick it in here, push it up, and then just take that out, set it to the side so you don't lose it when you're uh, moving your, your frame around. Take off the trigger bar is pretty easy. First thing you're going to want to take off the trigger bar spring on the side here. Just take your fingernail or a small screwdriver and just slide it right under the top there it'll pop out set that off to the side and then you're gonna have to remove the trigger spring now we're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, remove the trigger spring that holds the trigger bar in as you can see there's a little spring that fits into a groove right on top of your trigger bar you wanna take a small flathead screwdriver and try and push that up and over to the side and once you get it over to the side and out of the groove you should just be able to pull your trigger bar right out I'll just come right out. Okay, we'll go ahead and show you guys how to take the hammer out. Uh, there's like a little cylinder right here, this black ring that's still holding the hammer and everything in place. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and just push that out. Hold your hammer down so it doesn't go flying. Just take a screwdriver. Go ahead and push that all the way out. Once you got that out, go ahead and drop your hammer out. Then here's your, uh, your hammer strut. and your, your mainspring or your hammer spring. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to take off your, your sear. Alright guys, here is the sear pin. This is what holds your sear in right here, right in here. This is the pin we're going to want to push out and I'll show you guys how to push that out so you don't lose your spring and everything. Alright guys, what you're going to want to do is push your sear pin out and have it stop about right at this part because that will keep your spring in and the pin in so when you have to put your sear back in it will be a little easier for you. So go ahead and just kind of push that pin and stop right about when you get to there. And you should feel the sear kind of pop like that. And then what you can do is kind of get pry that out of there you don't have to really pry but just work it out you'll have to pop that little spring a little just a little bit and then you'll go ahead and that'll get your I'll go ahead and take your sear right. out on the hammer what you're gonna want to polish is you're gonna want to polish this uh, this bottom hook right here and polish all the surfaces and then you can polish these bottom two hooks too. Just go ahead and polish that with like a really high grit sandpaper or uh, a Dremel tool and mother's mag uh, polish works really good. What you can also do is polish inside this circle here with a Dremel or you can roll up some sandpaper and polish in here and then also polish in, inside the other hole on the side. This is for your um, this hole is where the hammer strut goes in so if you polish that up it'll just make it smoother contact on the hammer strut and less uh, gritty feeling 
So go ahead and polish all this up and that will uh, help smooth out your trigger. Also if you want, like I did with mine, is I polish the sides of my hammer to give it kind of a two-tone look. You can do that right now too. And I'll show you what to polish on your sear. On your sear you're going to want to go ahead and uh, polish this top surface, this side surface. You can polish a little bit over to here and then polish the edge of this. Just when you polish it, just polish it but just don't to try not to take any material off. You just want to get a nice a smooth finish on it. You don't necessarily have to shave metal down because you don't want to you don't want to affect or make an unsafe trigger. So just polish this top, this, and then this bottom lip, and now I'll show you what to polish on your hammer strut. On your hammer strut, pretty much all you gotta do is polish uh, this bead right here, this ball head that fits into the hammer. Just polish all around it. Polish the sides of it. You can polish down a little bit, and then that's all you need to polish on here. And now. All you have to do is uh, re we'll, we'll replace the mainspring. Hopefully, what you want to have done is ordered the uh, Beretta D spring uh, to replace your stock uh, hammer spring. The D spring is a double action uh, spring for, made for Berettas, but what it does is it lowers the double action and the single action on your Taurus. So you can probably order one of these online. There's a lot of places that have them. Probably only like five or six bucks. So if you don't have that out already, you're going to want to have that out because we're going to go ahead and put that back in. So I'll show you guys how to put it all back together. Okay guys, what I've done here is uh, I drove a screwdriver right here through the frame. or just It's just through the frame and it's holding the uh, sear spring down. And then what I did is I dropped my sear in through the top here and pushed that pin over a little bit so it just starts to catch the sear. And that way it'll hold the spring in while you push your sear pin through to get it locked back in. It'll hold that spring back and then you should just be able to pull the screwdriver out and it'll drop right on your sear and hold the sear spring. Or the sear spring will hold the sear in place again. And that's it. Now what we're going to want to do is put the, uh, the hammer, your new uh, Beretta D spring. We're going to want to put that in there along with your hammer strut in the hammer and we're going to put that all back together. So go ahead and take your, uh, your D spring, put your hammer strut, slip it in there like that. And then you're going to want to place it in there angled like this, facing with it where the curve face towards the dew. Go ahead and drop that in there like that. And go ahead and take your hammer, put the, uh, the back second hole is going to go on top of the, that little bead. And then you're just going to have to push it down back in there. And what I'm going to do is use a punch here just to... Uh, help hold everything once I get it down. Okay, so now that we got everything in there, now you can go ahead and take that little black piece and just push it through and then, you know, push your punch out and get everything locked back in there. Use it kind of like a dummy guide pin. Okay, to uh, get the trigger bar back in, what you gotta do is just drop it in the side here. It goes through the hole on your trigger and then what you gotta do is in the back there is the spring that we undid to take it out. What you gotta do is bend that spring forward and then push your bar through and then let the spring drop back onto the groove. So you gotta you gotta bend the spring forward, push this through, and then let the spring drop back onto the bar in the groove. Can be kinda tricky. I don't think I'll be able to do it on camera for you just because of the angle. But yep, just take takes a few tries, take a flat head, just bend the spring forward, push your bar through, and then just let the spring go and it'll drop down and hold the bar on. Alright what we're gonna do is put your uh, trigger bar spring back in. What you do is you take this uh, little L side, there's a little spot on your frame for it, stick that in, then get this one in the, in the front groove there and then just take your fingernail, push it down and drop it back in that groove right there and that'll hold your trigger bar back in. Now we'll go ahead and uh, put your safeties back All right, in. Guys, we'll go ahead and put the uh, that detent spring and plunger back in first take the spring drop it in that little hole then take the uh, the plunger that goes on top of the spring drop that in there kind of wiggle it around to get it all lined up get in there like that Go ahead and uh, you can take your other side safety here, kind of wedge that in, and the detent will kind of hold it there. We'll go ahead, 
take your uh, your other side safety, put that in from the other side. You're gonna have to pull the uh, trigger forward, or actually just cock your hammer. Slide that in. Kind of push on this one to push that detent down while you slide the bar through. And go ahead and just push it all the way through. You'll have to have one rotated up like this, and then the other one down. And then all you'll have to do is rotate that one back because there's a little uh, there's a little groove right here that has to go behind and then the trigger bar groove is going to fit right into the groove on your safety. So once you got them both once you got them both on there and down like that, we'll see. We'll see Let's see how you can see that groove right there. If you if you try and push it in like this, you're going to hit you're going to hit this bar right here. So what you have to do is you rotate it up and then you push it down and then this bar will ride in between there. And all you have to do now is go ahead and uh, drive this pin back through, and then you should be good to go. Okay, so now that we got that pin back through, everything should be fully assembled. You can go ahead and test it out. Yep, everything works the way it's supposed to. But now you have that uh, bread of D-spring in there. You have your sear and your hammer and everything all polished, and action should be real smooth and a lot lighter than what it was. And that's pretty much how you do it. And all you got to do is put your grips back on and uh, slide and everything else like that. And you're good to go. Alright guys, and that's about it. You got everything back together. Uh, I showed you how to do a full trigger job. These should be pretty much the same for uh, PT100 or PT92. Um, just take your time. Some of the springs are a little difficult to get in there. But just watch the video a few times. And uh, take your time and you'll have no problem. And you'll have a great trigger on your PT92 uh, or 100. That's it.